Welcome everybody, and this is Paul Fletcher, and I'm doing the um, Tao One Book Reading. This is the chapter one, and this is session number four. For those of you that are new, this is the book that I'm reading. It's called Tao One, The Way of All Life, and this book is pretty amazing in many ways. Uh, it really gives us the essence of the soul and the source and why we are here. And that's why it's called the way of all life. And as we move further into the book, you will start to agree with that. So because this is session number four, you may want to go back to the earlier Facebook live streams and or go to my YouTube channel. This is a wellspring of light. You can type in my name, Paul Fletcher, wellspring of light, YouTube. You'll definitely find it. And uh, I made a playlist there. <clears throat> and once you get that playlist, you just keep that. And then you can, uh, I always update it with the next version, okay? So that same link will always bring you to the newest version. And you can uh, gather along with us. There's usually 8 to 15 people that are joining here live um, each day. <clears throat> and for those that are just tuning in, you might not be able to stay the whole time. I am doing this live reading Monday through Friday. So um, at the same time, 12 p.m. noon Pacific time. And today's date is December 27, 2022. So I will be here again tomorrow. But tomorrow I'll be doing my podcast for my Wellspring of Light. And I'll be doing it in a form of emotional healing with Tao Healing. And you're welcome to join. Uh, keep your eye out on the, the chats for that. And then Thursday, Friday, I come right back into the book reading. So I'll just be doing this very consistently uh, Monday through Friday at noon. So I hope you're able to join me. Uh, we're going to jump right in here very shortly. Um, now, what I'm doing is I'm using Master Shah's audiobooks along with the Kindle version of his written book. And so the audiobook uh, uh, borrows the Kindle book's words, and every once in a while uh, there's a sentence or two added. So if you don't see it exact, then that would be why. And um, But other than that, we get the, the, the voice of Dr. Master Shah, who carries extraordinary uh, power within his voice, and we get to read it. So it gives us an opportunity to learn more about the Tao. So let me go ahead and start this now. Okay, this is all ready to go. <clears throat> and enjoy. Now we're going to start about, about a page and a half uh, into last week's, and then we'll start into this week, okay? I have used one sentence secret. This is the bottom paragraph. To summarize the Tao of healing, the Tao of rejuvenation, the Tao of one's physical journey, and the Tao of one's soul journey. These Tao's belong to Xiao Tao. I have also used one sentence secret to summarize the Tao of humanity and the Tao of all souls in all universes. These Tao's belong to Da Tao. It does not matter whether a Tao belongs to Xiao Dao or Da Dao. All Daos and the Dao itself can be summarized in one sentence. Dao creates all things and all things return to Dao. This is normal creation and reverse creation. This is the philosophy of Dao, which is the philosophy of all things in all universes. New Divine Sacred Tao Practice for Normal Creation and Reverse Creation. In December 2009, I led a Tao retreat in Frankfurt, Germany. Suddenly, the Divine told me, Jigang, teach people to <coughs> sing a Tao song of Normal Creation and Reverse Creation. I'm releasing both parts to humanity now. Tao song of normal creation. The lyrics of Tao song of normal creation are Tao sheng yi, yi sheng er, er sheng san, san sheng wan wu. As explained at the beginning of this chapter, this means Tao creates one, one creates two, two creates three, three creates all things. 
Now I will sing this Tao song of normal creation three times. Tao Sheng Yi Yi Sheng Er Er Sheng San San Sheng Wan Wu Tao Sheng Yi Yi Sheng Er 二声三，三声万物，道生一，一生二，二声三，三声万物。To sing or chant this Tao song is to receive healing and blessing directly from the power of Tao, the source of all universes, the way of all life. To sing or chant this Tao song is to receive healing and blessing directly from the power of one unity of all universes. To sing and chant this Tao song. Is to receive healing and blessing directly from the power of two, heaven and earth, yang and yin. To sing or chant this Tao song is to receive healing and blessing directly from the power of three, Tao, heaven and earth. To sing or chant this Tao song is to receive healing and blessing directly from the power of one, Wu, all things in all universes. To sing or chant this Tao song is to experience normal creation of Tao. This is how heaven, earth, and the countless universes were created by Tao. I would like every listener to realize that the Tao song of normal creation carries power beyond any comprehension and any words. Tao song of reverse creation. The lyrics of Tao song of reverse creation are: Wan Wu Gui San, San Gui Er, Er Gui Yi, Yi Gui Dao, Dao Fa Zi Ran, Dao Fa Zi Ran, Dao Fa Zi Ran. Gui means returns to. Wan Wu Gui San means all things in all universes return to three. <coughs> San Gui Er means three returns to two. Er Gui Yi means two returns to one. Yi Gui Dao means one returns to Dao. Dao is the way. The universal principles and laws. Fa. Means universal methods. Zi Ran means to be natural. Dao Fa Zi Ran can be translated as follow nature's way. Now I will sing the Dao song of reverse creation. Wan Wu Gui San. San Gui Er Er Gui Yi Gui Dao Dao Fa Zi Ran. Dao Fa Zi Ran, Dao Fa Zi Ran, Wan Wu Gui San. San Gui Er, Er Gui Yi Gui Dao, 
道法自然，道法自然，道法自然，万物。山，山归二，二归一，一归道，道法自然。道法自然，道法自然。To sing or chant the Tao song. Of reverse creation is also to receive healing and blessing from all saints in all universes, from three, Tao, Heaven, Earth, from two, Yang and Yin, from one, Unity of all universes, and from Tao, the source of all universes and the way of all life. To sing. Our chant this Tao song is to experience the power of reverse creation of Tao. To sing our chant this Tao song is to purify your soul, heart, mind, and body deeply. To sing our chant this Tao song is to heal and rejuvenate you, your loved ones, all humanity, Mother Earth, and all universes. To sing our chant this Tao song. Is especially to reach Fan Lao Huan Tong, transform old age to the health and the purity of a baby. The power of this Tao song is unexplainable and unimaginable. I always teach: if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know if the Tao song of reverse creation is powerful. Experience it. Tao song of normal creation and reverse creation. Tao sheng yi, yi sheng er, er sheng san, san sheng wan wu, wan wu gui san, san gui er, er gui yi. 一归道，道法自然，道法自然，道法自然。道 creates one， one creates two， <coughs> two creates three， three creates all things， all things return to three， three returns to two。Two returns to one, one returns to Tao. Now I will sing Tao song of normal creation and reverse creation. Tao sheng yi, yi sheng er, er sheng. 三三生万物，万物归三，三归二，二归一，一归道，道法自然。道法自然，道法自然。
the significance and the power of normal creation and reverse creation of Tao. Normal creation of Tao is how all universes are created. Reverse creation of Tao is how all universes will return to Tao. Tao is the permanent universal <coughs> principles and laws. Tao creates all universes. All universes will return to Tao. This circle is a constant. Tao continues to create heaven, earth, and all universes. At the same time, heaven, earth, and all universes are returning to Tao. Tao has created countless heavens and earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. Countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes are returning to Tao. Humanity stays in its own heaven and earth. This heaven and this earth are very tiny specks within all heavens and all earths in all universes. In the Tao text explained in chapter 2, there is this phrase, Da Wu Wai. <coughs> da means big, Wu means no, Wai means outside. Da Wu Wai can be translated as big without boundary or bigger than the biggest. Tao cannot be measured. Tao has no limits. The normal creation and the reverse creation of Tao are constantly taking place. In history, we understand that some cities and countries have disappeared. New cities and countries are created during Mother Earth's changes. In fact, at this moment, I receive spiritual guidance and wisdom again that Mother Earth herself has disappeared many times before. And that a new Mother Earth has always been created afterward. This is the same for other planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. This is the circle of normal creation and reverse creation of Tao. Normal creation and reverse creation of Tao can be summarized in one sentence. The universal law of reincarnation is that normal creation and the reverse creation of Tao creates all universes and all universes return to Tao. There is ancient renowned spiritual wisdom that also expresses this universal law of reincarnation. Zhong wei shi, shi wei zhong. Zhong <coughs> means end, wei means is, shi means beginning. Therefore, Zhong Wei Shi Shi Wei Zhong means a ending is a beginning. A beginning is a ending. This is one of the highest philosophies. I will use a human being's life to explain it further. When a human being's physical life ends, his or her soul leaves the physical body. This is the beginning of a soul's next life. This is a Zhong Wei Shi, and ending is a beginning. Generally speaking, the soul will reincarnate to its next physical life as a human being again. When the next physical body is formed for the soul to enter, we know that this physical body will end in about 100 years. Shi Wei Zhong, a beginning is an ending. It tells us that to see the beginning of a physical life is to understand that this life is limited. Its ending is in front of you. Let me use a star as another example. Stars are created from Tao. Stars disappear. New stars are created. All things including heaven and earth, are created by Tao. Heaven 
and the earth are now the permanent. Tao has created countless heavens and earth. Countless heavens and earth will return to Tao. Heaven, earth, our star <coughs> will take billions, even countless years to return to Tao. In every moment within the universes, new planets, stars, galaxies, and universes are being created. At the same time, they are all returning to Tao, disappearing and turning to the emptiness and the nothingness. In one sentence, the process of Tao creating all universes and all universes returning to Tao is the highest philosophy and the truth of existence. This process is the universal natural laws, principles, and rules. There is another renowned statement to express this process. Zi sheng, zi mi. Zi means yourself, sheng means produce. Mi means end or die. Therefore, zi sheng, zi mi can be translated as your creation produces your own ending. Think about a human's life from the first breath at the birth to the last breath when physical life ends. Think about a star <coughs> from its newborn state to its disappearance. This is the rule of Tao. Why is a human being's life limited? A star, the sun, the moon, heaven, earth could have long, long lives, but they cannot live forever because they are in the yin yang world, which belongs to two in the normal creation of Tao. Remember the normal creation of Tao? Tao sheng yi, yi sheng er, er sheng san, san sheng wan wu. Er is two, heaven and earth, yang and yin. Mother Earth and humanity are in the yin yang world. Anything in the yin yang world will follow zi sheng zi mie. Zi sheng zi mie is a rule in the yin yang world. It is also the rule of Tao because Tao create yin and yang. Why does a human being need to do shu lian or purification practice? Xiu means purification, Lian means practice. Every practice to purify our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies is a practice to advance our spiritual journeys. Therefore, Xiu Lian is the totality of our spiritual journeys. This audiobook teaches Xiu Dao. Xiu Dao means to practice Dao and reach Dao. Xiu Dao is one of the highest kinds of Xiu Lian. The final goal of Xiu Dao is to go beyond yin and yang, to return to one, which is to return to Dao. If you can truly reach Dao, you will no longer <coughs> be controlled by the rules of the yin yang world. There is another renowned Asian spiritual statement. Chao Chu Yin Yang Tiao Chu San Jie, Tuo Chu Wu Xing. Chao Chu means go beyond. Yin Yang means Yin Yang world. Tiao Chu means jump out of. San Jie means heaven, earth, and a human being. Tuo Chu means escape from control. Wu Xing means five elements world, including wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Therefore, Chao Chu Yin Yang, Tiao Chu San Jie, Tuo Chu Wu Xing means go beyond the Yin Yang world, jump out from the control of heaven, earth, and human being, and escape the control of the five <coughs> elements world. To do this is to reach down. When you truly reach Tao and mild with Tao, you will reach this Tao condition. 
which is to be out of control of yin yang, heaven, earth, and human being, and the five elements. This means you have reached the Tao saints, who are the Tao servant who have the abilities to harmonize all universes. You mild with Tao as one. You become Tao. Because Tao is a permanent, your life becomes permanent. This reveals how immortality is attainable. This is exactly the Tao training that the Divine and the Tao asked me to offer. We are doing Xiu Tao together in order to reach Tao and become Tao. I will explain the process of Tao training a little later in this chapter. To become Tao and mild with Tao takes the greatest effort from a total gold servant. In the teaching of the Soul Power series, gold means gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion. Total gold means total gold to the divine, Tao, humanity, and all souls. <coughs> to be a total gold servant is to be an unconditional servant to the divine, Tao, humanity, and all souls. A total gold servant can be summarized in one sentence. A total gold servant is the servant who offers unconditional universal service to the divine, Tao, humanity, and all souls in all universes, including unconditional love, forgiveness, peace, healing, blessing, harmony, and enlightenment. To be a total gold servant is to accomplish the purpose of one's physical journey and one's spiritual journey. This purpose is expressed in another one sentence secret. The purpose of one's physical journey and a spiritual journey is to serve others in order to make others healthier and happier. Two ways to return to Tao. Tao creates everyone and everything in all universes. Everyone and everything is the son or daughter of Tao. We come from Tao and return to Tao. There are two ways to return to Tao. The first way to return to Tao is through the normal path of life for most human beings, as explained earlier. Zi sheng zi mie. A human being's life normally follows this process. Birth to growth to maturity to aging to death. This is zi sheng zi mie. As I explained in the previous section, this is the rule of the yin yang word. This is a rule of Tao. The other way to return to Tao is the way of Xiu Dao. When you do Xiu Dao, the process of your life could be different. Birth to growth to maturity to aging to Fan Lao Huan Tong. Trans from old age to the purity and health of a baby. Then stay in the baby state for a long, long life and reach immortality. If you shoot down in middle age, say at the age of 30 or 40, the process of your life could be like this, birth to growth to maturity to transform from middle age to the baby state. Then stay in the baby state for long, long life and reach immortality. If you shoot down as a child or a teenager, the process of your life could be like this. Birth to growth to transform your youth to the baby <coughs> state. Stay in the baby state for long, long life and reach immortality. Knowing the two ways to return to Tao is a vital wisdom for a human being's life. The first way to return to Tao is the yin yang rule. Because the yin yang world is limited. A human's life is limited. The second way return to Tao is the Tao way. Tao is unlimited. Therefore, a human's life can be unlimited. 
This is the highest philosophy for immortality. This is exactly the direction of our Tao training. I will reveal one of the highest divine secrets here. To return to Tao is to mild with Tao. The most important wisdom is that Tao is permanent. Tao does not change. Tao will not change. Tao constantly creates everything and everything constantly returns to Tao. My divine Tao training program will last 10 years or more. The last step of this training is to become a Tao saint. Who is the Tao servant? <coughs> a Tao servant is one who completely melts with Tao. A Tao servant is one who returns completely to the emptiness and the nothingness of the Tao condition. Such a person could then live a long, long life that is beyond comprehension. This is the direction for immortality. 5,000 years ago, the Yellow Emperor's internal classic, the authority textbook of traditional Chinese medicine stated, Shang Gu Zhen Ren. Shang Gu means far or distant ancient. Zhen Ren means the saints who mild it with Tao. Shang Gu Zhen Ren means the saints who mild it with Tao in distant ancient times. Qi xie tian di. Qi xie means completely connected and mild. Tian means heaven, di means earth. Qi xie tian di means completely connected and mild with heaven and earth. Ba wo yin yang. Ba wo means master. Yin yang means the yin yang word. Ba wo yin yang means mastic, yin and yang. Hu xi jing qi. Hu xi means breath and receive nourishment. Jing qi means the essence of the universe. Hu xi jing qi means breath and receive <coughs> nourishment from the essence of the universe. Du li shou shen. Du li means do by yourself. Shou shen means focus your soul, heart, and mind. Du li shou shen means concentrate and focus on your soul, heart, and mind. Jing shen nei shou. Jing shen means mind. Nei means internal. Shou means concentration or focus. Jing shen nei shou means use your mind to concentrate or focus inside your body. Ji ro ruo yi. Ji ro means muscles and tissues. Ruo yi means mild with the mind and soul as one. Ji ro ruo yi means mild with body, mind, and soul as one. Shou bi tian di. Shou means long life. Bi means just like. Tian means heaven. Di means mother earth. Shou bi tian di means life is as long as heavens and earth. Wu yu zhong shi. Wu yu means no. Zhong shi means ending. Wu yu zhong shi means physical life has no ending. This renowned statement in the Yellow Emperor's internal classic have revealed and explained the qualities of an immortal being. Normal creation and the reverse creation of Tao have unlimited benefits for humanity and everything in the universe. They are the highest universal principles, laws, and rules. Apply normal creation and reverse creation of Tao
to understand humanity, Mother Earth, and all universes. Apply normal and reverse <coughs> creation of Tao for healing, preventing sickness, rejuvenating, prolonging life, and transforming every aspect of life, including relationships and finances. Apply normal and reverse creation of Tao to move in the direction of immortality. Apply normal and reverse creation of Tao to help humanity pass this difficult transition period for humanity and Mother Earth. Apply normal and reverse creation of Tao in order to create love, peace, and harmony for humanity, Mother Earth, and all universes. Apply normal and reverse creation of Tao to create a new evolution for humanity and everything in all universes. Study Tao. Practice Tao. Reach Tao. Mild with Tao. A new humanity is coming. A new world is coming. A new universe is coming. Chapter 1. Important Wisdom of Tao. Many beings have strived to reach Tao. Taoists strive to reach Tao. All spiritual beings Okay, started to repeat. So I guess that means the end of that chapter. So that was powerful, huh? One thing I'm noticing for myself is, you know, it's been probably eight years since I read this book. And eight years go by, and I don't know about you, but I have quite a bit more depth of understanding. And then I go back and I hear Master Shah read these words and I'm able to, to absorb them in a far deeper level and have a far greater appreciation, you know, that he had shared a lot of this wisdom many, many years ago. And, and you know, I, at least for myself, I was not able to take it in with any depth of understanding. And now when I, and I, you know, listen to it, it's, it's like, uh, you know, it's how, what's a good way to put it? It's like a, you can have, you know, plain vanilla ice cream. You can have vanilla ice cream with all the toppings. So now when I listen to the same thing, it has all the toppings. It's so much more flavorful and makes so much more sense than it did at that time. So I hope you enjoyed it the way I did. Uh, I will be here all week, same time, same place. Tomorrow is my uh, Wellspring of Light um, podcast. I invite you to join it. It'll still be on the same channel. And I'll be doing uh, Tao Healing for Emotions. And um, if you haven't been to my website, please stop by wellspringoflight.com. <clears throat> and I have membership programs. There. Lots of good stuff there. Take advantage of it. And um, uh, But Thursday and Friday, we'll be back with the book reading. So uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If not, then I'll see you Thursday and Friday. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.